that we lost. I was just an idiot and play the Revel Arc. I should have. That one turn. That would have given us the Flying Blocker. That is a Boggle and a Phalanx Leader with only one plane. So we're going to mulligan this. Come on, Slipper Boy. Uh, three lands is okay. Keeping it. Uh, we're going to put that on bottom so we can actually get a creature to put stuff on. Okay. 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 The Black Knight. What do I think of UMA? It's pretty interesting so far. I don't know. Ooh, that would have been good. Yeah, it's been interesting so far. I don't think that I have... Sorry. Jeez, there's just something in there. Um... There's a lot of really cool cards in it. This is the very first draft I've done with it, so. It's good so far. I'm enjoying it. Stuck on three lands, eh? Okay, we're gonna go here. There would be more drafts. If we had a box, you're not wrong. <laughs> if Dan had bought that box. Four mana. See what they play. We are going to bounce this Conviction back to hand. Tall Rand. That's pretty good. Uh, we can just put the Conviction back on and swing in again. I think that's good. Swing in for eight. They're at four. See what else they got. Own of the damned. Two, two, two black zombies. And they get a Drake. That's fine. Bounce this conviction back, play it again, bounce it back, play it again. On our turn. We went to a sealed and only four people showed up, so we did a pseudo sealed and I whiffed hard on pulls. That's unfortunate. Foil? They foiled my conviction. Oh, man. I knew foil was in here, but man, that's good. That's real good. Hmm, do I just swing in with both? Put the pressure on? Let them soak it up? Okay. 
want to rearrange. Oh, I did that too. Okay, whatever. Well, we can play Staunch Hearted Warrior, Rebel Arc. Hopefully, we get the. Uh... Oh, what's the name of the, the one with prowess to get an enchantment back? Appetite for Brains. Boo. That's that's gonna get our Rebel Arc. They are at four. It'd be really nice if we could get some uh, action here. Dial that card, that's gross. My stomach does not feel great. Scoop this one, please. Swing it in. We got the beats, we got the beats. Yeah! They got them. Del the Gurmag Angler. Oil. Vigilance persist. Probably should have played that on the staunch hearted warrior. Have ever played Pauper before? I have not played it in many, many years. You know when you guys in Commander vs. Crew are going to be doing CEDH again? Uh, probably not. Is that... Uh, Justin was not a fan of the last time we did it. Putting the tall rand in front of it seems odd. There you go. That's a little better. Circular logic. Ooh, foil circular logic. Getting another break in there. Actually, yes, we will. Uh oh. Twins of Mauer Estate, three five. And this two in a black. Hyena Umbra. That makes it a 5-5 five, five first striker. Good with that. They are persisting at five life. CEDH is competitive EDH or competitive commander, essentially. It is uh, the high end stuff. And uh, yeah, we've tried it a couple of times. People just seem to get really upset at how we play it. So we just tend to not, just don't want to play it anymore. Double block that. 
All right, they take two. Power to the tall rand finally. Persist back. Let's just pump the brakes, keep the wicker bow elder in case we need to get rid of something nonsense. Um, yeah, we don't keep, need to keep rid of, getting rid of nonsense, but we can swing in and think we have it. We're at two, so block the two, two and the five, five. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Got through that. Got through it. Only a couple more games. We will be good to go. And then I have to go to bed. It's almost bedtime. I think it's a lot of light. does not have to be on very high. Pick up a decent amount of light there. I also think this is helping. Yep. Just want to get that. Get that forest. Is it true that Director Kyle is afraid of snow? I don't know about afraid, but... It's my favorite edge deck to play. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by edge deck. Ugh, this is going to get nothing. Nope, uh, it's going to get the Staunch Hearted Warrior. Or a greater, I'm sorry. Um, edge deck. I mean, my Tassiger Villainous Wealth deck, I guess, could be considered an edge deck until recently, and then everybody knows what it is, so. Pitch that land. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. Um, yeah, my Tassiger Villainous Wealth deck is probably the one that is most likely... We're going to put that right there. Let's find a little home there. 3 3 first striker. EDH deck. Edge deck. My favorite EDH deck to play is actually my Maelstrom Wanderer deck. Madness, just the wind is move it from combat. Turn target creature to its owner's hand. Well, boo earns. Smushed. Smushed right out of that attack. Alex leader. Bounce for Madness to the blue. Smack me in the face. Do something silly with it. Oh, I will not block with my leader. I could really use a forest. But we're going to go get... Uh, probably the shielding 
planks, another conviction. Humble Wombo. They were hoping. And they got there. Could have done it first. But that's okay. Still have Boar Umbra, Conviction, Sky Spear, Cavalry, Cavalry Double Cleave, whole bunch of just nonsense. Prior. Nope, doesn't work. Never mind. Everything is the worst here. Now I'm sad. Yep. <sighs> they had it. They had it so good, and we are stuck on lands. Nick Darby does work for Wizards now. We are at 10. We are going to play an Acacian Crier next turn. We are at six, four, two, four, something like that. Uh, something tells me they're just gonna kill this thing. All right. Mm. Yeah. I wasn't in LLR pre-release. I was in the Ixalan one. It was tons of fun. I would love to do it again. I really enjoyed working with all of them. Yeah, playing in the the pre pre release is actually one of my favorite things that's that I've done. Uh, let's just put the planks on here, I guess. Let's see if we can draw that card. I'm gonna bounce it back to my hand. Draw land. Bogley boy is okay as well. They're going to have the 2-2 for Madness? No? I guess they don't have a Madness outlet right now. Ugh! I do not know who Bad Boy Gaming is on YouTube. When are new spoilers hammering? Uh, I think they're ha happening at the beginning of next year. Not exactly sure on the date. But, hmm. 
Do I play a Slippery Boy? Keep up Double Cleave? Or Turned Mist? Mm. Uh, let's just do a few more here. Gonna foil this. Yeah, I think we'll. I'm guessing that we will get some during the holidays as a hey, happy holidays. Here's some new cards. Um, and then, yep, Eel Umbra. Oh, that's Flash, I guess. Flying. Oh, just plus one, plus one. It's a three, three flyer now. Uh, we were gonna. I can. Got to meet Adam, Alex, Corey, and BJ Packs Unplugged. They were all such super nice people, and spent my time fangirling over them. Yeah, uh, they were sweet. All those people. And I would be super excited to hang up them again. Okay, I think we just swing in with both of these. See what they do. In turn two, miss their Dragoon if they try and jump it. Okay, all right, cool. Well, we've got double cleave and turn to miss. This madness cost is what, three? Yeah, three. So they drop a three five into play. Um, yeah, what are they gonna block? That guy? Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and give it double strike and put two plus one plus one counters on it. Just the wind again. This just the wind is like one of the more annoying things. Um, yeah. How many things have they madnessed to this thing? It's so good. Uh, I think we just turned to mist their dragoon. Get rid of the flying. They cut an ultimate box topper in half and cut a tarmac wave. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds real, uh, real, uh, like, like they wanted clicks, or they got clicks. I feel like they're going to Appetite for Brains my Revelark. So we cast the Sky Spear Calv Cavalry. They've got the Olivia Dragoon. They could probably flash something that another Eel Umbra onto it again or something silly. We've got the Slippery Boy. We've got two Staunch Hearted Warriors. We just need their pants. You know? Last gasp. That does it. That, that, that'll get rid of that Sky Speaker Cavalry. Just need some pants, guys. Come on, everybody. We're just swinging for five. We're gonna be at nine. Could really use some more pants for our slippery boy and our two slightly bigger boys. We want to get bigger. We're at nine. That's a wild mongrel. 
I think we just play a warrior come out to play. Maybe we just play the Rebel Arc. I don't really have anything other than the Sky Spear Cavalry, though. Get an advantage off of it, but. I'm fine with that. Oil? Nope. All right. So we're going to pass, not not swing in. We can block the 3-5 if we absolutely need to. Need some pants. Some pants so bad. They got here. Bounce again. Tall Rand. Madness that bounce things to hand. 3-5. Uh, we'll just block with the Pilgrim. Gonna turn in for the night. Have a good rest of your stream. Thanks. I will be done here probably in the next... 10 ish minutes when they when we finish this up. Alright, safe hold elite. We got a bunch of pants holders, not a lot of pants. We go Staunch Hearted Warrior. Next turn, Lotus Eye Mystics. Getting back the shielding plaques. Yeah, just the wind again. We're dead. We're, yeah, we're so dead. wonder how many just the winds they brought in. Can't fetch me pants. Yeah. Well, I think they were dead. They were pretty dead. They are swinging with everything. We're going to go ahead and block. Uh, let's say... Oh, I see what you mean. Go get this the uh, Iliad's Pilgrim and fetch us the pants. We got six coming at us right now, so we can block... We have 679 total. Block the tall ran. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. A plus 2, plus 2 something. We got two flyers left. Another grave scrambler. They can go get back another. All ran, play the tall rand again. Yeah, super dead. Super, super dead. Super, super dead. Their deck's really good. Livy's Dragoon on two both times was real good. Yep, that doesn't do it. Conceit. But we got 40 play points, which is real good. Went 1-2. That gives us... Play 